Hi, it's Jonathan from HMJ Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to start dispensing in four simple steps. Step one is to set up the target container. Settings, machine settings, containers. There are no containers, so we'll create a new one. We'll call it five gallon. For the adapter weight, make sure there's no pail on the scale, but if you're using an adapter or template, make sure it's in place. Capture the weight. For the container weight, you want the adapter or template, if applicable, and the pail, capture weight. So now it knows the tears are there, so it will recognize the pail. Maximum capacity, what's the safe volume we can put in this pail uh, without overflowing it? Uh, we'll use mass, 40 pounds. That's all we need for now. Add. Target pail set up. Step two, set up the base materials to be used in your recipes. Recipe book. Materials. Create a material. I'm going to create one called Material 1 or M1. I'll give it a material name of A. I've got three choices for my material type. I'll call this one an extender. If you care to track them, you can put in your VOC percent, your HAPS percent, or your cost. We'll go ahead and put in $2 per pound for a cost. Add that material. Let's put one more material in. Create material. Call this one M2. Give it a material name B. Material type, for this one, we'll leave it as a dispersion. Again, VOC, HAPS, we'll go ahead and put a cost in of $3 per pound, add that material. So we have two materials set up now. Step three is to map the base materials to their valve stations. So under settings, machine settings, valve map, valve one, I want to be assigned to M1, which cross-references to material name A. I know from my layout diagram that that is associated with pump two, so we'll leave that alone. Save changes. For valve 12, I'm going to set up material code M2, which cross-references to material name B. And again, my layout map shows me that pump two is the right one for that station, so we'll leave that alone. Save changes. Your base materials are now mapped. Step four is to build recipes. Back to recipe book, recipes, create a recipe. For this one, I'm going to put in a recipe code of R12. We'll call it recipe AB. I want to select what materials go into that recipe. So let's choose material one, which has material name A. For B, let's choose it in the other order, just to see what happens. If I choose material name B, it cross-references to material code M2. So you can choose in either order. Those are the only two materials that I want in this recipe, so now I choose my ratios. This can be done by percent, it can be done by mass, or just ratio. I'll just do one part, four parts, which totals five parts. It won't let me add the recipe unless it's the, this totals 100. By hitting the normalize, it will scale these components while maintaining their relative ratios to achieve 100%. Once that's done, I can add the recipe. That's it for adding a recipe. We're actually now ready to dispense. Four steps are now complete. So we go to dispense, dispense a recipe, put in an order number. If you haven't noticed already, there's a prompt at the bottom of every screen telling you what it's expecting next. If you get lost, just take a look down here, enter machine number. Next thing it wants is the recipe code. Let's choose the recipe we set up, R12, which cross-references to the recipe name AB. It's looking for a dispense weight. We'll ask for three pounds. What container? We've set up a five gallon container. If that scale recognizes that that container is in place and it's stable, we're ready to dispense. But we have one more option here. Look for work off, we'll look up anything that we've put back into inventory that's compatible to be used up either in whole or in part in this recipe. Let's do that. In this case, no work off was found, so it shows us what we're gonna dispense, the amount for each, we're ready to go. Press go, you'll get your batch. That's how easy it is to set up an HMJ Tech dispenser. For more videos, visit us online at hmjtech.com.